Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be doing my usual news video for whenever Fortnite gets a major update. Uh, today's video, of course, is going to be everything that you need to know about, and in this case, the version 12.50 update for Fortnite Save the World. Now, of course, as usual, we're going to be going through the home base status report as well as the leaks. Uh, if you thought that the home base status report was going to have some juicy information in it, then you are mistaken. Epic Games isn't bringing us too much in this home base status report. However, the leaks definitely look very interesting um, and definitely has a lot of interesting things to say about the future of Save the World and the content that we'll be getting sometime soon, probably next season. Gonna have a lot of speculation about that as there's some really cool stuff that's actually in the game files. Uh, but before we actually do jump into the video, I wanna give a quick shout out to, I believe it's just Seal over on Twitter for using my code at gfuel.com. All the profits that come from my code go to Children's Hospital Charities and I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So starting things off with the home base status support of April the 29th of 2020, Epic Games shows off the Blake Beard Pirate Constructor and he's coming back. Now, obviously, I'm not a big fan of recycled content or returning content as, you know, I pretty much have it all at this point. However, this is actually one of the most fun constructors in the game. And for anyone that doesn't have them yet, definitely pick this guy up. Uh, if you guys have been watching me on Twitch, you know that for the past like three months, I've been playing nothing but constructors. And whenever I want to play a constructor, and deal a lot of damage. This is a guy that I like to use because his Rosie is absolutely insane, as well as he comes with a pretty good team perk. He's going to be releasing this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, yeah, he's finally coming back. Really cool character overall. Now, moving on from that, we also have something that's going to be coming out alongside Blake Beard, and it's the content that you've all been waiting for another bow and arrow. We have the powder keg. Drop the powder keg on the husk with this new bow. This weapon fires a keg arrow that explodes after two seconds, and that'll teach the husk to mess with the plunder. Basically is probably going to be a boom bow successor. We'll just have to wait and see, you know, for the stats and perks and everything like that. Uh, but it sounds like a boom bow that just, you have to wait a second before it explodes instead of exploding on impact. It's going to be releasing alongside Blakebeard. We're going to be doing a first impressions over on Twitch, you know, while we check it out live. And of course, I will be releasing a video on it right after after that live stream so definitely come over and check it out over there and then get ready for the video but it is another bow and arrow so I, I don't really blame you if you don't watch it now moving on from that we have even more content that you've been waiting on Another bow and arrow, the Xenon bow, which is the Neon bow. It says one shot to rule them all. Pierce multiple husks with the new Xenion bow. Um, I think they misspelled it in the description. Now available in the core llama set. Now there's a few things that I have a problem with whenever it does come to this bow. Number one, its base stats are gonna have to be really good for you to justify using this bow. As you are, you know, if you do wanna hit multiple enemies and you do wanna take advantage of AOE on this bow, you're gonna have to line up your shots with multiple husks behind the initial one. Whereas with something like the Vendor Tech Seeker, you can hit three husks without even trying to. And with the Vacuum 2 bow, you can hit like 20 husks without even trying to. So this weapon right here is going to have to have really good base stats to even be usable in my opinion. Seeing as the AoE is going to be kind of a headache to actually take advantage of. And it's also in the Core Llama set and I don't believe it's researchable from the collection book. Which I'm not exactly going to be spending V-Bucks on a slot machine to try to get this weapon. If I do get it, I'll make a video on it. If I don't get it, I probably won't won't at the end of the day though it's yet another bow and it really doesn't matter as it's probably not going to be that good who knows though i could be wrong now moving on from that we have the content update for next week and this is honestly pretty much the highlight of the home base status support and buccaneer ramirez is going to be making her way to the game i could have sworn that buccaneer ramirez already existed in the game but apparently not uh she's actually going to have something very interesting which is called hand cannons as her lefty and righty ability which is basically she's a pirate hero with lefty and righty and she shoots cannonballs it sounds really cool, sounds really fun, and using this with the actual Jelly Teacup team perk, she sounds like a really cool hero. Hopefully the damage is going to be worth it. If not though, this is just going to be another one for the collection book. Now we can pretty much go ahead and move on to the leaks as it really doesn't seem like Epic Games really brought too much in terms of the actual update and instead has a lot of really interesting things in the game files for us to yet again wait on. So starting things off, it actually looks like we're going to be getting a new dinosaur hero. Given the resolution of this image, it looks to be a quest image however you know just like with gold Knox, it could be a quest image and then later be a hero that comes out this looks like it's going to be pathfinder jess but as a dinosaur um if i did have to guess epic games is probably going to recycle the dinosaur event however give us like one or two new items during the recycled event to make it up for players like me 
which isn't really making it up too much. Um, really, really, really not a fan of recycled quests. Uh, I believe that all the quests that people have been able to play, you know, throughout events in the past should be playable from the get go. There should honestly be a list in this game where you can play through past quest lines instead of Epic Games using them as an excuse to recycle them. However, this does look to be interesting as Blast from the Past is a really great team perk and having more heroes for it could prove to be pretty nice. Now, moving on from that, we have some placeholder heroes from Oxide and we'll go ahead and start off with the most interesting one, which is actually going to be Clip. Now, this is very interesting and this is where I want to speculate a little bit because not only do we have Clip in the game files as a placeholder hero, but we also have the director as well as the major, all of these being big characters that are in home base. Now, the last time that we got home base characters, the last time that we got Save the World storyline characters as heroes was when the Canny Valley biome came out and the Canny Valley storyline came out in the form of the Steel Wool members. Could Clip and the Major and Director being playable mean that Twine Peaks is soon going to be released in the biome and the quest line? I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up whenever Epic Games doesn't give me a reason to get my hopes up. Uh, I really don't want to, you know, start a bunch of false hype and everything. But what I am saying is that if history repeats itself, this does mean that Twine Peaks is either in the works or close to being done or being at least thought about. So yeah, last time that we saw story heroes actually being available in the game files and in the game itself was whenever the story was advancing through Canny Valley. So we'll just have to wait and see. Moving on from that, we have a female gumshoe hero that's in the game files. Now, I had absolutely no idea what this meant at first, but you guys ended up sending me this image. So apparently this is like some kind of skin from Battle Royale. Uh, this could be an addition that we could see to the spy set. Uh, for all I know, I, you know, I don't really know, but gumshoe is a skin that's in Battle Royale, so this could be an addition to the Spy set. I know a lot of people were upset when the Spy set first released, as Epic Games didn't really add all of the weapons that were in Battle Royale um, under the Spy set, which is what a lot of people were expecting with a Military Set 2.0 type of weapon set. Um, but yeah, you know, female Gumshoe may be adding a little bit more to the Spy set in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. And the last thing is a Fuzzy Bear Teddy, cute, cuddly steel. Now, I believe that this is playing off a leak that we had a while ago that was actually a cuddle team leader themed teddy if i can find the image i'll try to show you guys but it was leaked by inside home base a while ago uh so it looks like this is probably going to be a teddy model for another outlander hero we just have to wait and see but this is further confirmation that we'll probably be seeing it in the game now the last leak that i have to talk about is some heroes that are listed in the game files but don't necessarily have any stats or any kind of information about them uh, we have a gumshoe constructor a shockwave soldier pajama party soldier another pirate soldier which i think is buccaneer ramirez the major which is what we we're talking about earlier agent fish stick soldier and dark gumshoe soldier obviously agent fish stick could kind of go off of gumshoe like we were talking about earlier as possibly having more spy set stuff come to the game um and dark gumshoe don't really know pajama party soldier yeah gumshoe constructor i don't know uh maybe gumshoe is just kind of a code name for another military set-esque you know kind of set to come to the game i have no idea but these are some of the heroes that were found in the game files now aside from that there's not really anything else to talk about whenever it does come to this update um i've pretty much looked at any of the leaks that have come out pretty much taking a look at pretty much anything that possibly could have changed in this game and it doesn't really look like anything has actually come to save the world aside from everything that we did mention in this video one thing that i did find interesting though is that if you do run four times missions at the moment you will be able to get tickets um which i don't know if that's a visual bug or not but from the looks of it epic games finally listened to the community and is allowing you to actually get tickets from four times uh probably not repeatable probably just for the first time but i figured it was worth mentioning um if there's any kind of other information i can bring you guys i'll have it in a pinned comment but that's pretty much it for this video um if you guys want my opinions on everything it's pretty much exactly what i expected i wasn't expecting really much content obviously you guys could probably tell given the subject matter of my last video um you know just like i said in my last video though i will be making save the world content whenever there is content to actually cover so definitely do expect a video on the powder keg expect a video on the buccaneer ramirez 
maybe a video on the neon bow, you know, if one of you guys give me one. But aside from that, I'm gonna be pretty much dormant in terms of, you know, making videos until Epic Games gives me a reason to. Anytime any sort of new content comes out or news, I will make sure to be the first one to cover it as I normally am, as I really do love making videos on this channel. But if Epic Games doesn't give me anything to make videos about, then I'm just not gonna force myself to do so. Now, of course, you guys will still definitely be able to find me streaming over on Twitch, uh, you know, Save the World, as well as some other games, as well as my second channel where I've been posting a lot of Minecraft lately. Um, but aside from that, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Not too surprised with this update in general. Honestly, got a little bit more content than I was really expecting. Getting two bows and arrows is just kind of eh, but I do like the sound of that Buccaneer Ramirez hero. Is this enough content for, you know, the entirety of the community? Not really. Should Epic Games be communicating a lot more during this time of no content? Absolutely. Are they going to communicate with the community? Probably not. But guys, that's pretty much it for me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.